why so much hurry, Kate? You think maybe he's in trouble? Not necessarily. The driver's just probably trying to get out of this territory before there is any trouble. Like maybe from Mandigos? Ever since silver was discovered in this territory, there's been more robberies and holdups on the road to Indian Head than any other place in the West. Mira, Kit. Looks like there's going to be one more robbery. Stay on a stop. Let's find out about this. <laughs> Go ahead, kill me. Oye, niño, we don't kill babies even when they try to kill us. Why were you trying to stop that stagecoach, son? Who do you think you're fooling? You should know. Hey, muchacho, if Kit Carson knows a thing, he doesn't ask questions about it. You're Kit Carson? Well, that's what I was christened. You're looking at the most famous scout in General Freeman's whole army. And I'm El Toro, next to the smartest. There's still time to warn the driver of that stage. Warn him of what? He's headed for a trap. Outlaws have taken over the relay station at Indian Head. They plan to rob the silver shipment that's on the stage when it stops to change horses. When you heard of this, why didn't you notify the sheriff? The outlaws are holding the sheriff prisoner. Well, what do we tell the driver of the stage if we catch up to him, amigo? There's a cutoff that will take him through Sacramento without going through Indian Head. Vamonos, Kit. Uh, follow us. By the way, what's your name, son? Bob Martin. We'll do what we can, Bob. <laughs> on that stage. Where's the muchacho? You go back and look for him. Try to convince the men on the stage we're not trying to rob him. I didn't see him anywhere. He just disappeared. Another thing, Kit, that stage head straight toward Indian head after you talked to them. Yeah, they just laughed at me when I told them that boy's story. If Bob's the boy they think he is, he's always dreaming up hair-raising yarns. You think the muchacho's pulling our legs? No, Toro, I think he's telling the truth. Well, if we take a shortcut, we can still beat the stage to Indian head. Well, what are we waiting for? My name is Carson. This is El Toro. Each the name. Are you the manager of this relay station? Have yeah, been ever since it was a town here. Then you must know most of the people hereabouts. Reckon? Do you know a young boy by the name of Bob Martin? Martin? Martin. Can't say I do. Maybe here once, but the town's pretty near deserted now. Why does the state still come here? Only for one reason. And that's for fresh horses. That isn't the only reason why you and other folks remain here, is it? I ain't speaking for other folks. I'm hanging on here because of the silver that's still in the ground. Folks figured the strike had gone bust, and they flocked out of Indian head like rats when the ship starts to sink. But not me. 
They'll be flocking back here again someday, when the new ore deposit gets found. Do you have trouble around here with outlaws? Why, well, what, what would outlaws want with a town that's gone broke? Quien sabe, senor. Uh, here comes the Sacramento stage. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I got my work to take to has the hair-raising daydreams after all, Kit. Nobody tried to rob nobody's. You know, it could be because we were watching. Let's check up on the sheriff. Sheriff's not a very good housekeeper, or he's been gone from here a long time. He must have left in a hurry, or he would have taken these. See if you can pick up a clue to the sheriff's whereabouts. I'm going over to the hotel and ask a couple of questions. See. I'm looking for the sheriff. He ain't here. So I noticed. He's out of town. From the looks of his office, he's been gone for quite some time. Yeah, he has. What do you want with a sheriff, mister? Well, maybe you can help me out. I'd like some information. Such as? I want to look over some of those abandoned silver mines. I hear there's a lot of rich ore left in some of them. Some of the miners still hanging on here at Indian Head seem to be doing all right. Here around dinner time, you can talk to some of them. Good, and I'll stay over for tonight. Can you fix us up with a couple of rooms? Yeah, I think I can. Good, and I'll go get my friend. By the way, do you know a young chap by the name of Bob Marden? Never heard of him. Oh, well, I guess he doesn't come to town anymore. See you about supper time. All right. Locked you up. Well, must be on a spectre or a phantasma. In other words, a ghost. Maybe that proves that the sheriff is dead and it's his ghost to lock me in here. What did he charge you with? You mean the sheriff's ghost? Yes. What did he book you for? What crime did you commit? Well, I don't commit no crimes. I'm innocent. Oh, that they all say. Kid! All right. Sheriff isn't dead, he's in trouble. Let's go over to the stable and have a talk with the old man, huh? What did I told you? Hello? Anybody here? Talk to him. But remember. Howdy, gentlemen. Something I can do for you? We have one more question. We've just been down to the jail, and there's dirt and dust and nobody there. What's become of the sheriff of this town? I, I don't know anything about the sheriff. You did have a sheriff, didn't you? Yes. What's his name? Uh, Tucker. Sheriff Tucker. Now we're getting some places. When did you last see this Sheriff Tucker? Speak up, hombre. I don't know anything about it. Please go now. I, I got work to do. Oh, we understand. Perhaps we did pick a wrong time. Kit, there's no time like right now to find out what kind of dirty crooked works is going on in this town. But not when I'm hungry. It ought to be just about dinner time over at the hotel. Well, you go ahead and stuff yourself. El Toro's going to stay right here till he find out what happened to the sheriff Tucker. Good work, Toro. That's the way to get ahead. I'll lose your life. Someone is covering his back in the barn. When you get through, Toro, come on over to the hotel and let me know how you made out. 
See you later, mister. Hey, wait, Kit. Uh, uh, I've suddenly got an appetite as uh, big as a horse. Uh, I'll buy your dinner. Those two are wise to something. Get over to the hotel ahead of them and tell Bent. Why are you keeping me on here? Why don't you let me go? We need you, P. You got everything your own way now. What good am I to you? If you left, you talk. Honest, I wouldn't talk. I'd forget everything I ever... Besides, if you weren't here, the stage company wouldn't stop at Indian Head, and that wouldn't suit our plans, would it, Pete? Did you hear them two strangers? They ain't through trying to find out about the sheriff. They'll be back here again, asking more questions. I don't think so. After Bent gets through with them at the hotel... Take it easy, Pete. You shouldn't act so nervous. Blind man could see that they're up to something, all right. In fact, they could be called troublemakers. And lots of times they get shot for making trouble. Here they come now. I'll get things started. And the two of you make sure there's plenty of shooting. Come here. Hello, Toby, cutie pies. Sign here, then you can eat. Now raise your hands. What's the idea? The idea is we don't like claim jumpers coming to Indian Head and stealing other people's silver. Now, wait a minute. We're not trying to steal anybody's claim. There's a saying that if you hang an innocent man, the rope turns him around clockwise when the wind blows. So if we made a mistake about you two, we'll apologize later. Get the guns, Joe. <laughs> inside. Thanks for helping us out, Bob. See, muchacho, it might have been real sorry we ever came to this town. I'm not sorry you came. How would you know about the shaft? It's an old silver digging. It was closed down when the vein pinched out. Is there another way out? Follow me. That's where I live, with my mother. Chihuahua don't look like anybody lived there. That's to fool the outlaws. They think mother and I left when the others did. Why didn't you leave with the others, Bob? My mother was hurt in a mine cave-in that killed my father. She isn't able to travel. You no tienes más que 14 años de edad. What did he say? He said he'd like to meet your mother. Well, I want you to. Come on. Well, folks started leaving Indian Head when the silver gave out. All except my husband. He was stubborn about the lucky dollar. That's our claim. And he insisted on staying on to mine it. When did the outlaws first appear, Mrs. Martin? They came like vultures, preying on the remains of a dying town. With all the decent people leaving, it was easy for them to take over. When silver shipments to Sacramento started coming through here, they put their plan into operation. That's why they seized the sheriff and took over the hotel and relay station. But, Senora, how can they keep on robbing those silver shipments and get away with it? Someone ought to be able to add those and those together to make the force. It is strange that the authorities haven't come here to stop it. 
Maybe it's because the stage drivers and guards are working with the outlaws. It could be. There's a lot more information to be gotten from that old man at the livery stable. Can he be trusted? Oh, Pete Gardner's honest enough. But the outlaws have got him under their thumb. He's afraid to do anything against them. Maybe later tonight, Toro, we'll go into town and have a talk to Pete when we're sure he's alone. Huh? Wake up. Huh? Huh? We're not going to hurt you. We're friends. Oh, you two fellas. There's no one around to listen to us talk. We made sure of that. It's safe to talk. What can I tell you? They'll kill me if anything happens to their plans. When is the next silver shipment due? There's one tomorrow. A big one. How do they plan to rob it? They always drive the stagecoach in here while I change the horses. That's when they take the silver off. They didn't do that this morning. That's because you two fellas was here. They decided to let that one go through. Uh, then the guard and the driver must be in on the deal. That's right. Uh -huh. Tell me another thing. How do they explain the loss of the silver when they get to Sacramento? The guard and the driver report a fake holdup along the way. The lawman is combing the hills a half day's journey west to here for road agents that don't exist. What about the sheriff? I figure they're holding him a prisoner in one of the rooms at the hotel. When official mail arrives firm, the outlaws most likely force him to answer the way they want. Thanks, Pete. When the silver arrives tomorrow, you go about your work as you usually do. You won't let him hurt me? No. You stay in the clear and you'll be all right. Mm. Thanks, Pete. to find out which room the sheriff is in without upsetting the whole hornet's nest. I'm Pat. Uh, too many of them for us. Uh-uh. With the help of Cupid and that woman that's waiting on the tables. Yeah, what do you mean, Cupid? That woman probably brings the sheriff his meals. You're gonna find out which room he's in. How, oh, please? You got away with women? Now's a good time to use it. Kid, she's so, so... All you have to do is tell her she's beautiful. I never tell such a big lie to any woman. Go ahead, wait for her in the kitchen. Turn on your charm. Kit, you don't know what you're asking. I'll tell you. Reminds me of the flower that grows in the desert. The cactus, that is. Yeah, I lost my charm. It don't work. Never mind, Tara. I'm looking for the sheriff. I'll keep him busy. Sheriff! Uh, uh, I'm not sheriff! Sheriff, where are you? You two in through the back. Bill, Dan, come with me. Toro! In here, Skip! Break it in. Worked out. 
just the way you planned. They never even see us once. Take Sheriff Tucker to Bob's house and wait for me there. What are you going to do? I'll find the horses and get them out of town. I want those outlaws to think we've gone. Be careful, kid. It's almost daylight. I should have gone with him. Listen. It's Kit. Thanks, Toro. I stopped by your office and picked up these. Thanks, Kit. We'll be able to use them. What's the plan? Bob and the sheriff will take our horses and go for help. You and I are going to try to save that silver shipment from being stolen. Well, we better get moving before it gets too light. We're counting on those reinforcements, Bob, so don't let us down. Don't worry, Kit. And don't you worry about your son, ma'am. He's able to take care of himself. I know he is. Good luck. We better get started right away, Sheriff. We ain't going anywhere. Surprise? So will Carson and El Toro be when they get back to the livery stable. You're in with the outlaws. In with them? I run them. That's the reason I let Carson and his friend find me in that hotel room. Just so that I could learn their plan. Now turn around and put your hands behind you. Sheriff was the brains of this outfit, did you? Kit, we left him in the muchacho to go bring help. Go on, tie him up. Don't make a move. Good work, Dan. You fooled your last trick, Carson. Get the silver off. That's as far as you go. That means you, too. Get going. I was afraid I wasn't going to make it in time. My gullies, muchacho, you did all right. What about the sheriff? He didn't figure on Mother being able to walk. She's holding him prisoner over at the cabin now. See? It's like a miracle. You'll be running foot races in a week. Incidentally, Bob, I sent those ore specimens to Sacramento to be analyzed. I got the report back today. The samples from the Lucky Dollar are amongst the richest yet analyzed by this assay office. Congratulations, Muchacho. You'll soon be a millionaire, eh? It will be like old times. I wish you weren't leaving. We'll be back. If General Fremont doesn't send us through here on another mission, we'll come back anyway. Adios, senora. Muchacho. Goodbye, Mrs. Martin. Bob. Bob.